All across the Wabash Valley, there are good people doing good work. I recently traveled to Odin, Indiana to learn how a man is using his love of Halloween to help sick kids and how you can too. On a quiet street in Odin, Indiana, skeletons stir from their graves. Like all my guys, I don't show favoritism. They're all a part of my plan, so I like all of them. David Self is a haunter. Somebody that uh, maybe goes a little overboard on Halloween and puts a little more effort into it than the average person. His home on Northwest Street is riddled with the undead and ghoulish gourds. The devilish display draws hundreds each fall. And I like that people stop by and we can talk. I feel like it brings the community together and I like that. Self hopes to capitalize on his captivating creation. For the first time, he's taking part in Skeletons for St. Jude, a fundraiser supporting sick kids. There's kids out there that aren't going to get a trick or treat and maybe the dollar you spend this year will get them trick or treat next year. Spectators seeking a shock from Scary Poppins, Grave Digger and Heads Up Harry need only scan the QR code planted in the yard to donate to the cause. All the money goes to St. Jude. Self tweaks his eerie exhibit each week to keep visitors coming back for more. He hopes to raise $500 during his spine tingling debut. Community is important and when we have an opportunity to take advantage of it. The Skeletons for St. Jude fundraiser is only in its second year nationally. Visit Skeletons on Northwest Street on Facebook to see the QR code if you'd like to donate but can't make it to Odin.